Hello everyone! This is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan naman natin ang tungkol sa solving problems involving direct proportion using block model. Bago tayo magpatuloy, ay mahalagang malaman muna natin kung ano nga ba ang direct proportion. Direct proportion means that when one element of the given ratio will increase, the other elements will also increase. Ibig sabihin, ito yung proportion na walang iwanan. So, pag tumataas yung isang quantity, ay tumataas din yung isa pang quantity. Or pag bumababa naman ito, ay bumababa din ang isang quantity. So, paano nga ba mag-solve ng word problems involving direct proportion gamit ang block model? So, I have here an example. The ratio of boys to girls in a class is 2 is to 3. If there are 26 boys in a class, how many girls are there? So, to solve this problem, una ay gagawa muna tayo ng ating ratio ng boys at girls. So, if boys is 2, is 2 blacks, then girls is 3. Or that is, 3 blacks. Next, if there are 26 boys in the class, so if it's at the end, the total number of boys is 26. And there are 2 parts, or 2 blocks. So para malaman natin kung ilan ang bilang ng bawat block, we're going to divide 26 by 2. So, 26 divided by 2 is equals to 13. Ibig sabihin, ang bawat block ay equivalent to 13. So, kung 13 ang isang block, dito sa baba ay 13, 13, 13. So, to answer the question, how many girls are there? So, that is 13 plus 13 plus 13 or that is 13 times 3 is equals to 39. So therefore, our answer, there are 39 girls in a class. So para mas paunawaan pa ang ating aralin ngayong umaga, ay magbibigay pa tayo ng isa pang example. As I read, in Mr. Abalas farm, there are 105 ducks together with some chicken. The ratio of his ducks to chicken is 5 is to 7. How many chicken are there in Mr. Abales farm? So to solve this problem again, so we have to make a ratio of ducks to chickens. That is, ducks is 5 parts, or that is 5 blocks, while chicken is 7 parts, or that is 7 blocks. Next given, if there are 105 ducks, so ducks has a total of 105. So para malaman natin yung bilang ng bawat block, we're going to divide again 105 by 5. So 105 divided by 5, that is equal to 21. So ibig sabihin, ang bawat block ay equivalent to 21. Lahat ng ating blocks ay dapat 21. So, to answer the question, how many chicken are there in Mr. Abales farm? So that is, so 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21 or in the other way around, that is 21 times 7 is equals to 147. So therefore, there are 147 chicken in Abalos farm. Next example, the ratio of dogs to cats in the animal house is 3 to 5. If there are 35 cats, how many dogs are there? So again, para masabi ng problem na to, Dapat ay meron tayong ratio ng dogs at ratio ng cats. So, the dogs is 3 parts, or that is 3 blocks, while cats is 5 parts, or 5 
rats. So if, if there are 35 cats, so the total number of cats, and then sa baba, is 35, then we're going to find the value of each block by dividing 35 by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. If it's at the end, each block is equivalent to 7. 7 times 5 is 35. So kung 7 ito, therefore, kung nasa taas is also 7, 7, 7. So the question is, how many dogs are there? Therefore, the number of dogs is 7 plus 7 plus 7, or the 7 times 3 is equal to 21. So again, there are 21 dogs in Animal House. Next example, in Mr. Romero's orchard, the ratio of mango trees to avocado trees is 4 is to 3. If there are 39 avocado trees in Mr. Romero's orchard, how many mango trees are there? So, we need again to make a ratio of mango and avocado. So, mango is 4 parts or that is 4 blocks while avocado trees is 3 parts or that is 3 blocks. Now, in the given situation, if there are 39 avocado trees, avocado is equivalent to 39. So, aalamin natin yung number ng bawat block. That is 39 divided by 3. So, that is equal to 13. Ibig sabihin, each block is equal to 13. 13 and 13. 13 times 3 is equivalent to 39. Ibig sabihin, kung 13 dito is also 13. 13, 13, 13. So to answer the question, how many mango trees are there? So the total number of mango is 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 or 13 times 4 is equivalent to 52. So therefore, there are 52 mango trees in Mr. Romero's orchard. Last example, the ratio of guavas to papayas in a food store is 4 to 1. If there are 20 guavas in a food store, then how many papayas are there? So again, we're going to make the ratio of guavas to papayas. Guavas is 4 parts or 4 blocks, while papaya is 1 part. Now, Next, given in the problem, if there are 20 guavas in a food store, so the guavas is equivalent to 20. So, if it's been 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. So, each block is equivalent to 5. So, kung 5 yung dito, so, ibig sabihin, this is also 5. So, the question is, how many papayas are there? Therefore, there are 5 papayas in a fruit store. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Maraming salamat. Paalam!